now we're going to ask the question about timing. Like, uh, how does Team Secret look with the with the tempo that the Wii Meepo is going to be setting? I'm kind of surprised they're not trying to make any sort of a switch, but I guess at the same time, they just know they're not going to win oh, that. Oh, the bomb. They could get this. Nice. Nice. That's needed. <laughs> Miracle? Yeah. Yeah. And Necrophos behind in the lane is, is not great. He's, he's just gone. Yeah. They got him surrounded you again. Level 2 brain sap. He's... Okay, well, the Illumina didn't connect. So that didn't help out too much, but I suppose it will still work with Miracle. Yeah, I mean, they also killed MC's Courier, too, when they with that ward behind the tower. So he just, he's got nothing left right now. Ah, GH, what are you... Okay. Maybe he thought it wasn't real, because GH oh, took so Courier. much damage. Yeah, that, that blast doesn't work on Courier. Um, and GH is well behind the lines. He knew he couldn't TP out, so he had to die to the Centaur, but both supports moving to deal with him. And so, uh, it is, uh, we didn't really talk that much about the morph, but it's an excellent die? morph game. Uh, Miracle? Yeah, the laning stage. Oh, the Reaper Scythe! Oh, it holds him just long enough so Yapso can finish him with the last point of the battery assault. As I hit in the Ghost Shroud. Meanwhile, in the Dire Jungle, Puppy came up pretty far, but he's come into Wii Zone. Trying to run it out with a level 1 Nature's Attendance. Wii doesn't have Earthbind. He's got no way to control Puppy. He continues to heal, and now even the Courier. Oh, my control, not again! It's the second time Puppy has killed that Courier. I think he murdered like eight couriers in the first series today. Oh man, he was he was on a mission. Miracle, well, up a little bit further, and uh, now the, looking for some control. They've got it, locking him in position. Another quick slide of fist down, spirit away to safety. Kuro, my control have arrived. My control's got the ulti available. He can blow up Puppy if he just blinks the Sonic Wave. He'd like to get a little bit more, and they just want to ensure they can kill the Enchantress while Zion's in the neighborhood. They're even cleaning through the heavy stacks. Nightmare, now's your time to let rip. Everyone's grouped up nicely, but do they have enough to finish the job? Mind Control still with the mana available, but Matumba doesn't they care. They might get both O-Posts now, though. They need, like, well, to all try and four capture seconds. this right now. Yapsil's giving it a shot. Matumba will join him. The capture's too late. Oh, man. If Zaya joined, would they have gotten it? Maybe. Surprise Sonic has MC killing off Nisha. They weren't ready for it. My God, that sound effect ripples the ears. Zai even still a little bit low there, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. He got, man, again, just narrowly not able to get the kill. Yeah, Zai's going to be a little bit frustrated there that he's not getting the mana regen every time. And they're going again. Searing Chains, Brain Sap, still not damage to kill off Zai instantly, but they get the job done. Kuro is the man to claim the kills. They go into the cogs, trying to battle with the Absol. GH wants to help him out. No points in Blinding Light, and with the Spirit, now it's just an urn. Really considering having a crack at him. I don't think so, right? He's only, yeah, he's only got the 300 magic plus the 340 pure, so it's it's pretty darn tough. Mm. Well, Yapsil's yeah, making move for mid. Waveform in. The Ignis already down from GH. That was nice and quick. More Meepos looking to come in, but they're all trapped inside the clockwork cogs. They can't break themselves free just yet. Now they will on the run over towards Nisha. Sonic Wave pushing him back. He's strength morphing as quick as he can to go up the hill. The Centaur stun from Puppy keeps one of the Meepos away. But who's the next target? Nightmare Zai left behind by the rest of his team under the tier 1 tower. He will sustain as long as he can. They're trying to set up a bait on top lane. Dire Observer was really good looking at Poppy, but Fiend's Grip, Nisha. Poppy's trying to come over to help out, and I think he's just realizing I gotta back off. Is there actually help to come? Slide of Fist Searing Chains, now they can move to another target. So not just one, but two kills for Nygma. Now racking up 11 across the board. And Meepo getting stronger and stronger with each one. Now 9.2k, 9.3k net worth over the 6.9k. A lot of information. Abaddon's now running in. Halvez with it. And GH gets the body block. He keeps clockwork out. The cogs do come down, but it actually traps in Abaddon. So Weeha can finish Roshan. And now they move to another target while GH has a little bit more time thanks to the Ignis. They caught the clockwork on the edge of this. And now Nygma is their turn. Do they want to try and fight? Nope. Let Kuro die and back the hell up. A double kill for Matumba. That man be strong. The yeah. Clockwork Rockets, Hellbear, Hellbear Scouters, they're looking for him, but under the cover of smoke, now Zai, they're going to find the fight. But can they take it? <laughs> clockwork, hook yeah, shots forward. Force He's found. H Cog pushes him back up, and now Meepo so quickly jumping onto Yamsaw. And Zai should be very happy. You managed to avoid that that uh, earth bind, but the Fiends nice. won't avoid nice that. Ward. Observer Ward sees everything. Spirit Committal forward. Puppy's looking to help out by bringing the Centaur over, but he even gets Searing chained up after Zai is brought down. But uh, yeah, Zai has been like holding mid for a while. Puppy's been hitting these side lanes a lot and has that Necro and is thinking about the Crimson Guard too to help out. <laughs> 
Still missing these spirit vessels. Uh, Zai. On the radiant side. He's out way too far again. Mind control. He was really thinking about letting the Sonic Wave go, but he hasn't even had to do it. Kuro, Nightmares 1, Fiend's Grips up, Nisha, the perfect control combination. Nothing that Yamsaw can do to uh, save his teammate. And Kuro just outplayed on nothing life. That's a show of the Bane's power, that's for sure. Remember that uh, range control? Oh, hi, Matumba. You gotta try and break his borrowed time. Kuro can just nightmare him up, and uh, they just wait this out. Miracle committed in. Zion's gonna join this fight too, but how much can he really give Matumba? He blows all the Weezer here, and now underneath the tier 2 tower, Zion just has to wait. His executioner, which is the Meepo, beyond crazy now. Right, it says godlike, but he's 903. Well, Aegis or not, they're still much stronger in these games. Block. A hook shot right where Kuro had his big moment. He will be punished. Well, Miracle's looking at it. They drop down the Ignis as well. Sonic wave from mind control. Yamsaw sent killing the Ignis. Will Pulse once again. Nisha strength morphing up as much as he can. 3.7k HP. It's what he maxed down to. And they still work their way through it. Even another Pulse to make sure Matumba's control. But his puppy that we focuses on. Trying to move back down the mid lane with his army. Very good choice from GH. It would have been pretty tempting to get the four staff first, I'm sure. But uh, without Queen of Pain being able to rush that spirit vessel, someone had to do it. So good, good call by Secret. Like, I mean, they're always so good in their itemization, right? That uh, I think that you can always point towards on them. It's being like, oh, Ooh, nice. Well, he's down. Dropping too low on the Meepo. The Reaper's Scythe loves opportunities like this. Dead for such a huge amount of time. And Zai gets 730 gold from it. And Yapso once more. Clockwork hook shutting forward. Cox pushing back GH. So his blinding light can't just be a defensive thing. Kuro can give some friendly, uh, nightmare help, but doesn't save GH's life here. Yeah, and there's the punish, right, for not getting the fourth set first on Cobble that you typically see. Yeah. Uh, pushing into the limit there. And, uh, but he knew when to fold it and just, like, run back to the base, too. Yep. He's already finished up the hood now. Time to TP in to be part of this fight. As, uh, Zion Puppy getting caught out by Miracle, Kuro, and GH, but they're trying to focus on Matumba. Weed's waiting this one out, keeping Matumba out of the fight. He'll be able to finish the job, and now he's going to get back over the rest of his team. He's already done a pretty damn good job locking down Puppy. Even the Earthbind controls Yamsaw. So four heroes from Secret Lost. They would love a fifth, but Nisha's already left, and they would love Roshan to be up, but he's a long spawn time. Lines are drawn. Push Smiths. They need to take, uh... A good fight because it might be their last one, I think. <laughs> last one, they have a really good chance. It's so dependent on this scythe. <laughs> the sentry, Kuro. Drop the sentry. <laughs> well, yeah, it's four of them and the uh, smoke underneath the radiant of the board. Must have felt like they were safe. Moving near Roshan. He'll spawn in one second time and Weeha just checks it three seconds too early. But Spirit Committal, they go up the high ground. First initiation combining with the Ignis 3 here to all be caught out. And the Sonic Wave! High control ensures the disable remains. Maybe there's some extra life from the top, but once again, we perfect the micro control ensures no extra life is really given from the borrowed time. Double kill for him. Zai will fall too. And three heroes dead for so long. Roshan to be taken as well. This feels like the march towards just Nigma victory of game one. They are so far ahead and in control. Yeah, they seem to know where Yapsor is too, because MC was uh, uh, hunting up here. Miracle now too. I saw some pings from GH. Found him. Probably saw the flares. Under the Dire Observer Ward. They surround him, push him over towards Miracle. Cog him up. Hook shot over. <laughs> Actually goes into Roshan. Would have been nice if he denied himself, but he'll get be a 14th kill. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, never oh, clockwork. Hook shots forward. Miracle. Whoa! Um, bye. Um, <laughs> really hit hard. Zaya's gonna run in pretty deep, feeling confident. Emspirit's now gonna buy back as well, keeping out to the outpost to get to the front lines as Zaya just has nothing really to work with. He can't shroud up. There's Yule Scepters for the, uh, for the Meepo. And now they look for Matumba. Bark time gone, so Kuro lets the Fiend's grip rip. Both heroes dead for two, uh, for, well, two seconds, uh, for 50 seconds until they're all back up again. This is a quite an easy push now for the Meepo. Yeah, the confidence too of Miracle. Yeah, we're good. I mean, the E-Blade, they're kind of treating the E-Blade almost like an ultimate in this, right? Where they're just saying, okay, it's on cool. Oh. Now go. Just like swarm them. Nisha found his target. Sorry. Catching so GH in the back lines. It's the racks. <laughs> 
<laughs> nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Yapsaw, Nightmare, Bane trying to break his way free, so we kind of get totally controlled. Yapsaw, Ice Edge trying to hookshot himself forward, but they're already moved on to Puppy. We know what Kiro kill doesn't end this game now. Two, however, will definitely help out. And again, back lines, GH, run! Run, GH! <laughs> if GG survive, they has, he'll survive 30 minutes. Team Nigma take game one against Secret, looking to protect their top ranking in Group A. So we get a, a one position anti mage with a two position bat rider, three position beastmaster. Mm -hmm. He's looking to punish though. Probably also hoping for a courier to be coming through, right? He's going to enchant him, and Nisha needs to connect over on the torrent, and he'll, he'll ensure it with the. I uh, think he's going to get it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I think. Yep. Lines him up for the tie bringer, level two. Yeah, the the damage is not quite there, but uh, still a lot of harass. I mean, that boar's still going. It's not going to be able to help Matu in lane two and almost mm -hmm. kill that other boar. GH on top, leap forward with a starfall. Nisha losing so much life, but he's got seven one charge available. GH, oh, he's going deep. Oh, he leaps away. Wait, did he actually try and dodge that damage? Either way, Remnant from Yamsaw will now arrive and punish this very heavily diving Nigma dual offlane. But Nisha looking Earth. for the free pick down bottom. There's one point in the counter spell, oh. and there's also no chaotic offering here. So whoever gets X should be dead. Well, Tarn's coming in. Boat's also arriving. Any mage needs a little extra help. And Dark, uh, can he? No, we can't. A1 charges were there. That would have given enough life. Kuro, Zai, swapping over. He doesn't have magic missile. Yeah, he, he just wants to close again. the distance and look for Kuro. Observer one season. The vision. <laughs> There's your secondary swap. Into the turret. And not much Kuro can do about that. But maybe there's some rebuttal. Sneesha gets a double kill on bottom. But Puppy, he is trying to run away from both GH as well as we are. Jump to the other side of the leap, but they'll chase him through the trees, and there is very little puppy can do about this. Wait, wait, look at the tower. You'll die to the tower. Works nicely. As long as he can keep the wave back, get some extra levels. Weeha. Zai gonna swap him. Kuro is nearby. Zai. Lends the magic missile. Yamsaw is nearby as well with his level 6. They're gonna upheaval as quick as they can as Batrider. Weeha just does not have the sustain. He's a boot sage and windlace. That's uh, that's all. There is not a lot in that bat rider to protect. And now Kunkka will also look for his own opportunity. Kuro trying to hang oh, around. The turret is going to connect into the magic missile with wave of terror. But Tumble will arrive. Yep, so we'll make sure he's going to stay where he is. In fact, the rem never even gets to trigger. That's uh, the surprising um, facts. Like, did you know? <laughs> Did you know the puppy is being chased down? Raw? Nope. X mark spot. Mind control is now going to be the one initiated. He's got his necrobooks down. Let's the raw offer on Zai, but that won't help you. The arrow only even hits. Now they're going to hunt GH. <laughs> nope. Leaps down. Random from Yapsaw. Hit him. And then Yapsaw can just actual step down. GH will leap up. And then Jack back down again. Thanks to X mark. He's got one more leap in him. Oh, the lasso is doing its thing underneath the tier one tower. Ventral Spirit will die. They uh, started chasing. The Marana. And they're even making sure the VS is totally down. <laughs> kill kill off the Vengeful Spirit to stop Yapsa from pushing it back out again. He'll deny that mid-tier 1 tower as well. They're all well, top, top. top lane. That's cool. Flame breaking back into the last so, but they don't have extra control. Kuro's waiting with the upheaval. Matumba's got no movement speed. Now, ship, torrent, combo, everything. Nisha's just got to try and keep Matumba alive. He's so low on life, but finally they bring him down. Nisha's TP out. Anyone got a stun? Anyone? Nope. I guess you'd just try to kill off the Vengeful Spirit instead. And Zai, there goes number one. Miracle committing with the Mana Void to get it. And we are still trying to run from this vengeful spirit. The arrow will stop the spirit. You get 20 only for oh, that? That doesn't wait. feel worth. Uh, we're going home. <laughs> uh, we're going to Beastmaster, who's going to get picked off. Trying to get the outpost, but uh, Zai and Yamsaw working together. My control tries to run it off, but that's not going to happen. At least he has his Vlads now. They also keep moving underneath Radiant Vision. In this case, Zai... Actually battling underneath two Radiant Observers and Sentries. Phantom Lance is now going to move himself over the Mana Void. Zai, so much damage done to him. Atomic just wants to back out of this one. They've still got the Vengeful Spirit battling from up on the hill. Now Konko's rum. Nisha tries to create some extra space, but Kuro, Fatal Bonds is now out on Matumba as well as Nisha. The focus on Matumba is the primary target. Miracle would love to get himself for kill, and he will be able to get it on the big one. Someone's got to take care of that VS if you want supports to live. 
But I suppose you can just keep hunting other kills if you want them. Yeah, more important yep, stuff. Yep, so it here. gets back to the tier two tower. Play around the remnant miracle. I love the blink to the bottom side of the tower, knowing Yapsol's gonna have that spirit position. Arrows fly forward. Yapsol's got one more step and he's going backwards. The miracle can keep up with him. Always with a blink of Valm, we'll dissimilate. Back up into the trees we go, just being a nuisance. GH will finally put him down. Pop I can't believe curl. Kuro has actually managed to live for so long. He's got extra help. The Moonlight Shadow is underneath the sentry ward. They have to roar to control up Poppy so he doesn't kill off Kuro. Nisha wants his own, or Zai wants his own fight. He's TP'd himself in, let off the dust, but Enchantress flame breaked back, just forever being controlled. Puppy wants out, but the only out is death. A slight edge, and he becomes this like crippling just festering illusion boss that runs over your whole team. But <laughs> obviously the, the jump was all Nigla's and now they're reaping the rewards. Blink and another jump. Ooh, oh, trying save. to clip him, but the VS swap's already there. Flame break almost pushing Zai up on the hill as well. The BKB con combination against Weeha, not gonna work. Thanks to the BKB. Matamba, Fatal Bonds. Oh God, they're all linked up again. They've got to be so careful. At least Yabso can get out of it with the Yule. Scepter can't say the same about everybody else. But maybe Yabso can do something. Yes, he does. He jumps in the back line to kill off GH. But the bigger problem is Miracle. Gets the bash over on Puppy. A little slow on the attack. We'll finally have to guess, get rid of Puppy's minions. And he'll jump in to find Nisha. Weeha sticking with him. No mana void available. But they've got the damage. Especially when they get the bash underneath the tier 3 towers. Weeha actually burns him with the Firefly. That didn't feel like it should have been his kill. Yep, so where's he going? He actually tries to bait with the Remnant to the north and jumping south. Another quick actual set, but Miracle blinks in. First hit, Bash. Finding yet another kill, but Zai does end the spree with the, uh, with the Vengeful Spirit. This could easily be numerous heroes going down. Raw. No, nope, just blink in Abyssal Blade. They want to remove Zai, and they're able to do so. Very, very liberal with... The he ultimate, but they blink so forward. The big target. <laughs> he got him. He got the Kunker. Pull him back in again. Look for the bash. The, the rock and fatal bonds. Team Secret are connected. All three heroes together. Puppy wants a TP out, but no clumsy nets there to stop that from Weeha. And a couple of illusions from PL are trying to stop this. Very impressive. Sure, they threw a couple bodies on the lanes to keep Miracle farming, but mm -hmm. that was a, a seriously impressive feat from Nigma. Oh, they're going to take top, top racks. Yapsaw doesn't have a TP to go home. Way to safety. The only thing that's really stopping him is uh, more, more kills. Yapsaw, dissimilate. <laughs> Bye. They who live by the wand. Yeah, was that just the cleave? I think so. Yeah, it was. Like he was, he was up on, his body moved to the hill, but is there a yeah. moment when you can attack before the dissimilate has, like, moved you? A full butterfly on him. A soccer. My... Yeah, they're ready to push. Smoke it up. Look for a tiger. Blink Abyssal Blade. Yep, Sora's deleted. 52 seconds without buyback available. Nisha starts his TP in and Weeha. Look how quickly did he move. But he wants the other one. He wants Zai. Pull him back over the arrow. He'll also connect with the upheaval and another face bonds. A quick doppelganger will allow at least Matoman to escape. But you can't say the same thing about Puppy. Out of mana, out of life. And out of luck in game two. It looks like Nigma have this one very firmly shoved into the bag. Nice. GG. Very good drafting. Both games there from Nigma. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a, a big outdraft or something. The second one, I mean, sure, maybe the Meepo was uh, a bit difficult to, to swallow after the draft, but uh, mm -hmm. giving Miracle one of his heroes, one, one of these ways that he can get control over the whole game as long as you guys can give him those moments.